Welcome aboard for part three of Shipping TV's trip down the Thames and up the Medway aboard Vic 96, one of Britain's very few remaining steam cargo vessels. Shipping TV, explaining the world of ships, shipping and the sea to people around the world. It's morning on the 21st of September 2015 and we're steaming downriver under the Dartford Bridge and it's time to meet one of the key members of the crew, certainly an important person for those of us who enjoy porridge, bacon sandwiches and plentiful mugs of tea to start the day. The most important thing is to make sure there's plenty of hot water because they need tea every hour and that we drink a lot of tea and if, um, it's, if my railroad isn't, the fire isn't done then they can't have no tea so I'm in big trouble. So I have to look after this fire, make sure there's plenty of water, plenty of tea and feed them very regularly. So today, today we had uh, porridge. We've had several cups of tea already, we're on another one. <laughs> and and I'm told that next on the menu is bacon, bacon sandwich. Egg, bacon sandwiches. Yeah. Amazing. And then want lunch again. And What's for lunch? lunch um, potatoes and onions and cheese. My goodness. So, uh, so it just goes on, doesn't it? Yeah. But you like doing it. Because it's an opportunity to be out in the river. It's a lovely way of, if you switch off, you don't have, everything else goes out of your mind. You're concentrating on looking after the men, looking after the ship, and the beautiful, you know, environment. It's just lovely to be in the river, that's what I love. Engineer Nigel Thomas does this for fun, but he is a paddle steamer's chief engineer. Oh, I am, yes, yeah, on a passenger ship, but as I say, this is, this is different, it's much more free and easy, just more, more relaxed. Is handling steam power very different? Yeah, there, there is some complexity about it, yes, yeah, you've got to, you've got to know what you're about, but, but uh, importantly too, the skipper needs to know how you handle it, you need to know how the skipper's going to send the commands down, and also the, when we're coming alongside the rope, the rope handlers we need to be relied on too, so yeah, it's all a team, team game. How long have you been in steam? Ever since I was, I was a kid, I've been around steam, steam railways particularly. But um, yeah, then, then I became aware of steam ships, tugs, that sort of thing, and started helping out on those, and well, here I am. Yeah, yeah, thoroughly enjoy it. We're now passing Tilbury Dock, first opened in 1886, which still handles a wide range of cargo as well as dealing with the ubiquitous container. The container terminal is still busy, but has lost some services and trade to a downriver rival we'll be passing soon, London Gateway. Every trip has to be self-financed by the individual taking part. What about you collect some from, from the public and things? Yeah, we, we collect some, uh, we put collection buckets out for generously minded people to throw in a contribution, yeah. What's your speciality? Um, manufacturing, um, engineering parts and jet running the engine. So you're essentially a steam engine engineer these days? That's correct, yeah. And you enjoy every moment? Oh yes, every moment. As we come down to London Gateway, one of the world's largest container vessels is alongside. UASC's huge Barzan, with a gross tonnage around 196,000 tonnes, compared to Vic 96's 147 tonnes, and a length of around 400 metres, compared to our vessel's 26 metres. Which would we rather be aboard? No contest. We're running half ahead now, thanks to a good ebb tide helping us downriver. 
The scooper doesn't want to make the turn into the medway before the flood starts there, so we've slowed down a bit. Up on the bridge there's more traffic to deal with and the ship's cook gets her trick on the wheel. A couple of yachts are taking the young flood upriver too. They're probably heading for St Catharines or another marina for a few days in the big city. And here comes our turning mark, where we'll make a 90 degree turn to nip across the sands into the Medway. The marks on the horizon are around the wreck of Liberty ship Richard Montgomery, laying on the sands since the end of the Second World War and still loaded with high explosives. Now for the final leg, up the meandering medway to Chatham Dock, so make sure you catch the fourth and final part of Vic 96's trip from Tower Bridge to Chatham. <laughs> 